Welcome gamers to the first alpha pilot testing will it blend segment I'm calling pirate and friends. So in this segment me and my guests my good friend Dr. Noob Sauce or otherwise referred to as Doc join me in tackling on Vindictus. So heat up some bagel bites and enjoy that last big gulp New Yorkers cause you're listening to another Gamers Rant. So a couple years back everybody was raving about this free to play game called Vindictus. Rated it to be a groundbreaking game featuring the latest physics technology and it was easy to get swept up in that hype. Well, the game launched and I never heard of it again. So what happened? Well, the game is still here, still breathing, and you know what? It's a lot of fun. Blades, advance! Yes, He's climbing the bell tower! Load Melissa! Captain, the tower will collapse if we fire right now. Doesn't matter. So the game begins almost like a first person RPG where you're a rookie nobody and things begin to unfold in front of you so you have to step in to save the day. I almost had to double check if I was playing the right game. After the tutorial's over, you know the basic controls and almost iPod Bond type of commercial opening is played, giving you that wow movie factor. Then things get a little more real in MMO-ish, town hubs, instance missions, perpetual crafting, the grinding of these materials, the cash shops, the rest of the usual suspects. So me and the doc here got our tunes to level 20 and well, let's break it down for you. What's up everyone, this is the Pirate King and this steroid induced guy next to me is the doctor. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm listening to my, uh, my club beats right now, look at my character moving. You can, all you guy needs to do now is just fist pump. Yeah, you know, you gotta wear your nice uh, club outfits, my bare club outfits when you're doing uh, videos. <laughs> and we are playing Vindictus today, which is a pretty cool game, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, isn't it the same name as that Matt Damon movie, or is that Invictus? I have no idea. Oh, okay, I don't know. But, uh, we bash some worms right now. Yep, this game was pretty raved about because of its physics and all of its fighting and combat being, well, new to the MMO gender. And uh, I think it pretty much delivers. I mean, I was, I was pretty shocked how different the combat feels compared to other MMOs. I mean, basically, I can just run around and grab people, like this guy right here, and then I can run into this bomb over here and uh, slam him into it if I want to. Or pal drive him, whatever. <laughs> Whatever uh, floats your boat at the time. It, 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 it's, it's different, and my helmet's gone. Where do you go, helmet? There we go, here we go. <laughs> Boom! Look at that. <laughs> Can't do that in uh, World of Warcraft or Star Wars or... Seems, seems a little overkill, doesn't it, though? Oh, no, not, not when you're me doing it. It's just I can keep doing this all day, pretty much. It's pretty much like crack, just destroying people, grabbing them. Yep, and the best part of it is this game is free to play. Yeah, um, not having a monthly membership is fantastic because you can hop on, hop off whenever you like. Um, pretty much, you're not being forced to play like with other MMOs, Star yep. Wars. <laughs> yep, there's no pressure to, you know, have to log in because you're gonna waste your money if you don't. Yeah, the game does a lot of good things. Uh, especially the gameplay mechanics is pretty addicting. Uh, the fighting is just fun. Just smashing people into walls, throwing them off of bridges. Uh, you can actually break bridges down. You can uh, lose when you when you actually get damaged. You lose pieces of your armor, which is fantastic. Um, I mean, I'm not all for naked big buff guys, but I mean the chicks <laughs> in this game they get stripped down pretty quickly. So it's true. I lose my skirt all the freaking time. Yeah. I don't know why it's the first piece I lose though. It's kind of kind of odd there. Oh, I, there, there goes your pants. Yeah, exactly. uh, them Asian gamers know what they are doing. Suddenly, like tentacles appear. I'm like, what the hell's happening? There's a lot of tentacles in this game. I mean, I rip them out of the ground all the time with my character. I don't know what they're trying to do, you know, trying to rape characters and stuff. I'm not for it, but... I have no idea where you've gone. I, I, I think I went backwards in the game. Oh. I was like, because I'm going forward and I don't see you. Yeah. Sidetracked over here with the worms. The tentacles, I got excited. Yeah. Well, the first thing in this game is visuals. So, what do you think about the visuals? Um... Like like I, like you said before, it's a free game, so you can't really knock it that much. But I mean, it's it's not I, bad. It's more of a real, I guess, more of a realistic Conan feel to it rather than a a, a kitty Star Wars uh, 
maybe like Guild Wars ish feel. I mean, it's it's kind of it looks I mean, good. Yeah, I mean for an MMO, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, there's some occasional clipping issues and uh, you know things go underground. And you don't see some of them again, and I'm getting swamped by spiders. Yeah, I know. I see it. I'm up here enjoying the whole view down there. But uh, yeah, there's some clipping issues. But as long as my fi my fist goes into their face, I'm happy. Yeah. The, the clipping issues are completely overshadowed by the great physics this game has. I mean, everything's, everything falls true for the most part. I mean, you smash something, it goes into pieces, you throw it, it flies over there. And uh, it does it justice. I mean, I could overlook the clipping and the occasional people going through walls by no reason. Because, I mean, they're trying to do this whole physics thing, which is great. Yeah, I mean, those those are issues you're gonna have when it, when you're trying to achieve a physics system like this. You're gonna have issues like that, especially on a free to play game. Like, uh, we don't expect them to work out all the bugs because it's free. You can't really bitch and complain. And right. if you do bitch and complain, fuck you. Go play something else. Like fucking, I don't know, uh, Maple Story. <laughs> right, because the physics in that game are great. Yeah, physics. That's that's what they call it. <laughs> Up and down a ladder. Yeah, you know, I like my 2D games too. I mean, if you want to talk about physics, I guess Mario had amazing physics. 64. No, not even the original one for Nintendo. <laughs> As you see, like right here with the with the bridge. Look, I can watch when I get to the other side. I'm gonna walk across, and you see the AI is probably gonna cut the bridge. Oh yeah, god. Yeah, the AI ah. didn't make it. <laughs> Wait, all my armor. It's <laughs> fantastic. Sorry. Yeah, so sorry, my ass. <laughs> but uh yeah so i think for a free game visuals they pass for me they're great yeah it's it's definitely uh it's definitely not hard on the eyes it's 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 decent to look at yeah. i mean the, some of the environments are like the dungeons are replayed over and over i mean right. that's probably the only thing i wish i had more like a, a variety of different dungeons but i mean would you, would you prefer the system they're using now as a dungeon runner versus an open world? I I'm I don't care. I mean, I'm having fun either way. So it what what it is for this game, it works. So I'm not gonna say every game should be like this because I would probably get very bored. But for this game as it stands right now, the dungeon system works. And these are big ass tentacle worms. <laughs> wow, they are big. Yeah, you better watch your skirt. Lost. What I lose? Uh, I think I lost my arms. They, they hit freaking hard. Yeah, you gotta be big jack like me wearing your club attire. I find this funny. This game came out ooh, like two, 2010, no, or maybe yeah, somewhere around like 2010, and I I died. You died? Oh man. I died, and there's like gooey substance all over me, which is very suspicious of these worms <laughs> shooting on me. Yeah. And um. Oh, I was suspicious that in 2010 this game came out with such great physics, and there's you know you have, to, you have to dodge and you have to freaking hit things and move aside not and not get hit. And uh, Terra, I don't think you've played Terra yet. No, I, I actually passed on that on purpose because everyone was talking about it, so I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon. Terra likes to boast that it's you know the first action-based MMO, but now that I'm playing this game. I'm like, uh, this is kind of like what Terra did, so they're really not the first ones to have done that. Let me throw a heal. <laughs> Maybe they didn't, didn't know about this game. I mean, for a while, didn't know about this game. Yeah, this game kind of just disappeared in the background. Well, I mean, in a video game market that you have now, unless you have like a real good PR team and you, you're really out there with your marketing, um, you're only going to appeal to like, you know, the hardcore gamers that are out there checking the forums for like new MMOs and all that other stuff. It's got it's got to be very hard to get a game like this off the ground, yep. unless you have like a really like powerful marketing team. Well, that comes up to my next point. What do you guys think? Well, what do you think about the combat? Like I said, the combat's fun. Like playing my character. Um, I actually forgot his name because I don't give a shit. But he's <laughs> the big dude with like 
iron fist that just rips rips everything apart. Like if it can if it can be grabbed, my character will grab it and throw it like a hundred yards just to do it. And it like just rip limbs off of people, smash them into the ground, you know, do pile drivers to enemies. It's great. It's fun. For me, this character is great. Like this is the whole reason why I play the game. Just to do ridiculous moves. Like I'm just gonna run up to these guys and just smash them all into the ground, grab him, give him a pile driver. You know, it's just it's fun. Being like just brute strength. Yeah, as a mage myself, it's pretty much casting and running around, which is still fun because it's still interactive. I'm not just standing there and pressing a button. And she does have her few melee attacks, like her kicks. <laughs> yeah, watch out for those dreaded kicks with those high boots. <laughs> boots were made. For, boots were made for kicking. What you know? The whole uh, system is also based on stamina. So once you run out of stamina. Character yeah, tires out. that's that's definitely an issue for my character right now. Um, I'll just be beating people into the ground, and I realize, oh crap, I can no longer even move because the stamina system. But it works out, so you just don't keep spamming stuff. That's, right, that's I, right. I think it's a unique feature that the game brings that to balance itself out. Right, I think it works well. It it kind of falls into that. Well, the Conan had st a stamina system for like running and performing attacks too. I think most games do have a stamina system, but they don't use it as far as your attacks go. Usually they have a different meter for just your attacks, like they have like a mana meter or they have like a rage meter or whatever the yeah, hell. Cooldowns. Yeah, or, or some type of cooldown that your game will have. And for this game, the cooldown is the stamina meter, which it works. It flows very nicely. Yeah. So I think the combat's great. Again, it's a free-to-play, so you can't complain too much. Get some more worms. Tentacles! Tentacles. Still got my skirt. I'm still good. Come here, worm. I'll rip your ass out of the ground. There you go. Look at that. This is a long instance. 